Rometeers, stand by. This is Wild Thing then with Nick Adams, who owns a remote control model shop. Daughter Isabel, son Jake. An exterminator from Hereford, Marlon Pritchard, Paul Lewis and Simon Baldwin. played Hoopla with Exterminator. You can see the extra hoop on top, and there's the flipper trying to get in underneath Wild Thing, but at the moment, Exterminator using his power instead, and look at that, very little traction on the wheels of Wild Thing, and that was sheer brute power from Exterminator, pushing Wild Thing into the CPZ immediately. And I think that was the breastplate it was, and Kilolot's come off there in the CPZ as Wild Thing just squeezed away at caught Kilolot's breastplate and pulled it off. So now, we see a new killer lock, which is certainly new for Robot Wars. Don't get too excited. Exterminator locked onto the arena sidewall. Needs to get out from there. Does so slowly, surely. Wild Thing turns lurid red. Flames painted on its body shell there. Well, it left itself a wee bit vulnerable on the attack to uh, Exterminator's flipper. This is a very even contest, as we thought it might be. Exterminator starting the strong with that Hugely powerful push. You get up to 25 miles an hour, Exterminator 2. Wild Thing now, though, you see, back on the attack. And Exterminator's in the CPZ, and Wild Thing spins and gets it away. Seems to have more manoeuvrability across the arena floor. And worrying times here for Exterminator 2. They need to get up and away. The flipper's still working, the light's still blinking. Wild Thing's eyes are flashing. They come in again for another broadside attack. This time trying to nudge Exterminator into a, a further CPZ. For me, if this one goes to the judges, Wild Thing are just getting on top now. Clever driving as well by Nick Adams, using the broadside approach onto Exterminator into the CPZ, and now dead better, look at that! Oh dear! Hot knife through butter! Slicing through Exterminator 2's aluminium shell very, very easily. Exterminator getting away, but Wild Thing once more on a drive, this time using the wedge check to get in underneath. Exterminator. Got a ground clearance of 15 millimetres, Exterminator. That was too vulnerable coming into a semi-final. And they're toppled. And that's it, I would imagine, now for Exterminator. They can self-right because of the flipper, but I don't think they're going to. They also have self-righting arms on either side, and I think you'll see the arms are bent. You can see the arms are bent there. Also, the hoop they added for self-righting ease has not worked. It's all over for Exterminator, I'm afraid. The arms are bent and buckled. Oh, in comes Dead Metal with a real slam. Look, they're trying to get the flipper just to... Oh, to nudge Dead Metal away. It's not going to work, though. And we hope, perhaps, that Exterminator can live to fight another day. They were knocked out in Series 3 by Panic Attack in the Heat Final. This time they've made the semi-final. But no more for Exterminator. The Herefordshire boys are on their way out. Marlon Paul and Simon Baldwin, and it's the Adams family who will march on. There go, Exterminator, out of the semi-final.